everyone, it is Provost Text here. Back in another video, and today we are going to be checking out Metro 10 V2. So, if you don't know what Metro 10 is, it is the transformation of Windows 10 that looks like Windows 8.1. That's right. There's some screenshots of V1. Yep, looking pretty nice, pretty nice. So basically, if you haven't seen my V1 video, check that out, link in the description. But basically, V2 is an improved version of it. it, it like the First of all, the file size is less. So this is actually 11 gigabytes, V1, but V2 is only 6 gigabytes. This is based off of Windows 10 Pro, and this is based off of LTSE 2021. So that is nice. There's going to be less bloat, it'll take up less space. It's going to be better too. The setup now contains Windows 8 branding. Uh, it's pre set up, so it's not confusing. And it's just amazing. So, as you can see here, um, already flashed down to a USB drive. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna let this finish downloading and then I'll actually install it on this computer. I've made it on a workshop machine. Then I've like, after I'm making the transformation, I just made a image of i just captured the image of that like inst installation with dism no put that in like a I, no put that in an ios like put that in like a put that on an iso that already contains a windows 10 installation no the install the whim and then turn the contents of that usb drive into an iso and i'm uploading that right now to the internet archive to get downloaded so i'll be back i'll be back when this is actually done uploading because, like, I'll be, like, I made a, I made a separate partition, like, a 40 gigabyte partition on here for Metro 10. But right now, like, that ISO is actually on the partition, so I gotta wait this, I gotta let this thing finish first. Then, I could actually use that partition, so. Be right back, everyone. So, now I have actually uploaded it on the internet archive, so if you are some screenshots of the actual mod like v2 itself see that i should replace the windows logo so that looks really really nice you just down the iso from here six gigabytes in size everyone way better than 11 gigabytes like basically almost like half the size which is amazing it's based off ltsc so it has less bloat so that's like a huge reason why so that's pretty nice, pretty nice. And there's a software page on my website. That Metro 10 V2 was on there too. So. Alright, you know what? Now let's actually just install it. So I'm gonna I'm format this hard drive. I mean, this partition. I don't know why I said hard drive. I'm on an SSD as well, so. Right, let's format this. I am using Windows 7 as my main OS, by the way. Also, I'm graduating 8th grade in 13 days as of recording this video. As of May 22, I mean 21. May 21. But, anyways, that's formatted. Now, just boot. Let's just boot into it, right? This is the flash drive it's on. That's the new TCL Roku TV for the basement. I guess I'm in the basement right now, but that's a different story. One other time. Alright, so we're starting, so let's hold on F12 to get into the boot menu. This does work on UEFI, by the way, but... For virtual machines, you need to flash it to a USB drive. I don't think, like, directly, the ISO directly will work on UEFI. I think you need to, like, flash in a UEFI formatted USB drive first with a groove or something, so... Anyways. UEFI boot from the USB drive. There we go. This is a, I don't know why, this is like a glitch with like, I don't know if it happens to like every computer, but like on, at least on my computer, Windows 10 always does this in UEO 5 for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I don't think this happens with Windows 8 and never happens with 7 or lower, but like, I don't know about 11, but with 10, and I think maybe 11 as well, it always does this for some reason while booting off a USB drive. 
it's pretty weird, but yeah, like maybe like the logo's corrupted or something. I don't know, but it's the Dell Optiplex 9020 SFF. What is this focus? There we go. I put this window sticker on here, by the way. I did. It actually didn't come like this, but all right. And I'm booting in. Look at that. That looks nice. So yeah, the logo is actually replaced. Like the Windows setup logo, like the Windows logo and the setup is replaced with the Windows 8 logo. I just replaced like a DLL with like the Windows 8 version, like from boot.wim index 2. I think it was spwizimg.dll in sources. So yeah, if you click next, like this logo, I don't have to change like the one after that. So. But that's that's literally the only change in the setup. That's like basic that's literally the only change, just like that first part of the logo. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna screen record this in a virtual machine because I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to edit all of that, so alright, let's do that partition. Next. There we go everyone. Now the whole installation process is gonna be exactly the same as Windows 10's. So I'm gonna pause this video and um I'll get back when it's about to restart. Okay, everyone. So now it's actually restarting. So yeah, this, this is probably where things might start getting worse. So the getting devices ready and all of that is gonna go really, really fast because this is not this ISO is not sys prepped. I did not sys prep this, so that's why. Because I'm this is just, I I have no clue how to like set up like how to set up a custom Windows image and all of that. So. Like, I don't know why Microsoft made this super complicated, but, yeah, anyways. Like, it's easy to install Windows, right? But, like, like the other way around, like, creating an, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, let's take Windows 10. Look how fast it's gonna go. I'm not even gonna pause this, it's gonna go so fast. I'm gonna shift F10 here actually. Oh, never mind. It went way too fast. And now it's already gonna log on. Yep. Look at that. Not confusing anymore. That's right. So, thank you, the Windows here, for removing this mod. But, anyways, look at that. Awesome, right? Let's set the resolution. Now let's just set the resolution um to 1080p. Alright, there we go, looking much prettier. So first off, let's start with the taskbar. So the taskbar looks literally pretty much like Windows 8's. Obviously, this icon hasn't been changed yet, but this looks pretty much like Windows 8. First of all, let's hover over the start button. It has that Windows 8 start button. Obviously, isn't obviously isn't this exactly like Windows 8? You know, because like Windows 8 start button has like a little animation when you hover hover over it. This is, this doesn't have that, but it's still like really really close to the Windows 8 start button. Look, it turns the background turns black, and the Windows logo is your accent color. So, and hover over the icons it has like that Windows 8 slash 7 glow. Click on it. That animation. Also the same, right click, the jump list are also the same, taskbar is from start is back by the way, so yeah that's pretty nice. Now right click, it does have the Windows 8 style, right click menus, which is pretty nice. Now on the other side, it has the flyouts, this arrow tray thingy looks pretty weird, but the network Windows 8, the sound Windows 8, and it has the Windows 8 sounds, let's take a look at the sounds. I'm not going to install any drivers because of... I really don't want to make this video too long. Like, I don't think you want to watch this, and I really don't want to edit all of this. So, yeah, I'm just going to make this go super fast. I'm just going to, like, play some sounds because I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want the file size to be too long, and I'm sure you do, you do not want to watch this. So, and the clock, same thing. And now, move your mouse to the top right corner. You get the charms bar. 
Look at that. You get a full charms bar. And it is fully functional as well. I'm just going to open the start menu. So yeah, it has a full screen start menu from Windows 10 because it's probably pretty hard to implement the Windows 8 ones. So, yeah. This, I'm just going to play like some sounds, like for example. Alright, but yeah. No, this is this prep info if you want to sys prep this. I was on so I has all the instructions to do it. I'm not gonna do this though because I don't want this video to be too long. Read me, you know, just contains every all the information. So yeah, you could read that if you want to. But yeah. Oh yeah, you will need a Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSD product key if you want to activate this. Cause this is not pirated. I'm not gonna pirate this. Take a look at the file explorer. Pretty pretty close. Pretty close to Windows 8 slash 8.1's file explorer. I was like, this is basically this mod is a nice mix of Windows 8.1 and 8.0. So uh this is like pretty nice. Look at the ribbon here. Oh yeah, and the windows have center title text. And look at that metro UI. It looks pretty nice. No, this is pretty nice. Home groups. Favorites. I don't think home groups, home, home groups actually work in here. Like, as of right now, it's probably just a placeholder. Pretty stupid, but... Yeah, let's take a look at the themes now. Themes, right-click. Hover over personalized classic and theme settings. And you get the classic personalization menu. The control panel version, so this is the... Default Windows 8 theme. There's a, even a Windows 8.0 theme, so like the Windows 8 RTM. Which this looks awesome. There's also flowers, which was included in Windows 8.1. And lines and colors. Let's keep, let's keep it on lines and colors for now. But yeah, let's take a look at um. Winwer. You can see that as Windows 8, 8 branding, but it identifies as 21H2. It says 2012 Microsoft Corporation, which is Windows 8.0's copyright date. Pretty cool. Let's just get a quick thumbnail shot. I'm going to make my resolution like way, way, way low. Like 800 by 600. Oh, man. That looks like some... What about 1024 by 768? Alright, let's just open up a few windows here. Windows 8. And the charms bar. Or whatever. Alright, everyone, so let's take a look at the log on UI. Let's take a look how the lock screen looks for. F so, you can see the wallpaper is there. And then the background is your accent color. And you can also change this to the Windows 8 one with the user profile picture. It's already like. I have no clue where it is right now, but it's. Oh, yeah, it's in documents, by the way. This is where it contains like all the things. This is where everything is contained, like, all the resources that are used, all the programs that are used, credits, patches, everything. And this is the user thing. And also, Windows Photo Viewer is your photo viewer now, which is pretty nice. Look at that. Really, really awesome. That's super nice. But yeah, that's basically everything. That's basically it, everyone. No... That's pretty much it. Let's take a look at MS system information, MS info. This is a Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Let's see how much this space how much space this takes up. Oh my god, wait, really? Only 15 gigabytes? Like the previous one took up like 30 gigabytes. So basically, this one takes half the disk space. Let's take a look at oh like the resources being used, like the RAM and all that. So it's taking up 4GB of RAM, 
I, I think that's pretty much a lot, but hey, that's what you expect from modern Windows versions, right? That's my CPU. Uh, pretty interesting. So thank you everyone so much for watching this video. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Um, that's pretty much all I have, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.